In the life of Church of the Cross, the people are served by two separate but equally important groups, the clergy who lead them and the super volunteers who serve their needs. These are their stories. Kind of. to thank you for being volunteers at Church of the Cross. As you know, being a volunteer here takes a lot of commitment and hard work, and you've got to be just this side of crazy. Once this video is over, you will be qualified to join the volunteers at Church of the Cross, the Navy SEALs of church volunteers. So come on, let me show you around. Uh, I often like to try and get here early and look things over. At first, it's a little creepy with all the different, uh, you know, bang banging in the pipes and stuff. But after that, you kind of get to like it eventually. Hey, Phil. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, no one no one beats the volunteers to the church except uh, Father Christian, our hardworking, underappreciated priest. Uh, what can I do for you? Have you seen my sermon notes? Oh, right. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay. Thanks, Phil. About once a month, a squirrel gets a hold of Christian's sermon. And it took me a while, but I finally realized it's because about once a month, he writes his sermon on the cheeseburger wrapper. So then I have to come up here and look around and see if I can find the... Don't move. All right. I got him. I got him. I got your sermon back. Mm, thank you. That. Could you mm. please use real paper next time? Yeah. Because it's just a lot harder. Anyway, I, so I made a few notes on there. Yeah, um, what do I you took, think? Is it good? Good? Well, sounding good? I took out that bit about the moon walking on the Sea of Galilee because that wasn't so good. Yeah, that did. Jesus did that, right? No, 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 no? actually not. Okay, no, what about the part with the, the the tomato, the cucumber, the hairbrush thing? You like that? Yeah, that was good, about right? about that, you've really got to stop getting your sermons from Veggie Tales. Mm. Duly noted. All right, good. All right, we'll see you later. There are some people that don't like drinking from the little individual cups, but I always say, you know, if it was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me, so... There are also some other churches that like to use uh, pre-squeezed grape juice, but I find that if you do it this way, it gets, gives you the chance to pray for everyone in Minnesota by name as you're doing it, so I do it this way. Okay, and so you see the buildup in there, and that is why we don't ever put small animals into the boiler. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you hear that? I, I, I better go check on this. Here, hang on. Uh, you take care of that. Do you, do you remember what I taught you last week? Uh, yeah, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Right, good. Thanks very much. Yeah, we'll see you. Oh, man, man, what's the matter? Every week, I have a nervous breakdown. Crying like a child robbed of his toy. Usually wet my pants. I have to bring a whole change of clothes just to come to church now. But every week, Philip Grace holds me, convinces me life is worth living, and that even though I am the only youth leader willing to work with these kids, that I still have something of value for them. And I need that. Hey, come on, man. Get up. I can't do it. Get up. I can't do it. No, no, come on. Get up. Get up. Come on. You gotta get up. Come on. Come on. No, no. Every time. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can. I know you can. If it weren't for Philip Grace, I probably would have wandered the streets of Hopkins most Sundays and started drinking lukewarm Dunkin' Donuts coffee out of a thermos. Probably started, you know, stealing cigarettes. All right, come on, Ben, you can do it. Here's the hands. Here, go ahead, hit it, hit it. I can do All right. it. I yeah, can do it. I can do it. I am not Who's afraid of the Dickinsons. I'm not afraid of the Dickinsons. Okay. Who's the youth leader? Who's the youth leader? No, uh, I, I guess that's me. Okay, I can Who's do it. Got this? I can Who's do it. it. Yes. Yes. For Christ in his kingdom. I don't know what that means. Never mind, never okay. mind. And Philip's not our only all-star volunteer. There are lots of people who are just as committed. It's just that he does everything with such panache. It doesn't matter whether he's taking out the trash, slicing bagels, or baking hot cross buns. He always has a spring in his step and a twinkle in his eye. Morning, wanted to highlight a couple of announcements. No, no. 
Good morning. I wanted to highlight a couple of... No. No task is too menial, no detail too mundane for our super volunteer. There's a fine line between insanity and devotion. All the best super volunteers cross that line on a weekly basis. Uh, the first one I wanted to highlight is no, no. Good morning. Welcome to Church of the Cross. My name is Philip Grace. Philip tends to his church building with the same love and devotion a Trappist monk gives to his cheese making. And there's just no way that he'd be able to counter that. And that is why C.S. Lewis would definitely be James Dobson if they are characters in the next uh, Smash Brothers game. Wow, you're much more smarter than my dad. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, honor your father. Uh, hey, Philip, um, have you seen my uh, um, the cincture? Uh, oh, come here. Thanks. And uh, how about the, uh, oh, the stole? Yes, thank you. Yeah. And um, about those sermon notes, okay. Jesus didn't moonwalk on the Sea of Galilee? No, not even on Wikipedia. Gotcha. Be good. So that's a little taste of life as a volunteer at Church of the Cross. So if you've studied theology and enjoy hunting small vermin, if you love music and horticulture, and if you know something about boiler maintenance, if you like small details and being a shoulder to cry on, then maybe you're the kind of person we're looking for. And if you can't hack it, you can always be a nursery volunteer. What? All right, oh, fine, we can edit that out. It's not a big deal. Okay, so, then maybe you're the kind of person we're looking for. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot to vacuum the pews in the balcony. So I better take care of this. Just go on without me and I'll catch up. And so our hero walks off into that good night, a silent cog in the wheel of a massive church machine. With a few more years of training, you too will be prepared to undertake the thankless task of church volunteer. Godspeed. Most Sundays, I don't really know what I'm preaching about. I, I depend on Philip a lot. Actually, most people are just here for the bagels anyway, but, but that's all right. It's, this is actually a temporary thing for me. I, my brother and I, we've started this mariachi band. We do, you know, Christian artists, Striper, Petra, Paul Calvin, and we're getting popular. We're really big in Ecuador now. Oh, you gotta hold those. Okay, I, I took my hand off the button. But it was yeah.